Alrighty, my week. Okay, so it started on Sunday, and I basically, I ate stuff. So what I had was, I had the sweet potatoes. There were also Brussels sprouts, but I didn't know that I was supposed to eat it, because I thought my mom said that we had salad, but then I didn't find salad, so I thought the Brussels sprouts were for dinner. So I just ended up eating a bunch of sweet potatoes, but like a variety of them. And I also had like some pork ribs and stuff like that. So uh, I put a lot more on my plate than I expected and I wasn't able to finish it. My sister also made this sort of like frittata sort of pie thingy. I called it a frittata, but she called it like a baked thingy. Okay, so my siblings also went to the beach that day and I heard it was cold and they also had ice cream and they just strolled along the beach. So I didn't think that I missed out on too many. I thought I'd be a lot more jealous about what they did, but they didn't really do much at all, so not really too much to care about. Pi Day also happened. After I ate, I immediately joined like the Zoom sort of meeting for Pi Day, like it was hosted by my school's PTA thing. And based on last year, uh, my friend like signed up for like a pie eating contest and like he like didn't win it, but he got like two free pies and they were like the humongous like Costco pies just for participating. So I was like, no one's gonna participate in this year's Zoom one. So I had to get in on it. Because I knew I would get two pies for free, and, well, I knew that I would get pies for free, but then, like, I wasn't really answering the questions very well, until the very last two questions, I answered both of them right, and for each question that I did right, I got a free pie from Coco's Bakery. After that, I immediately went to the park and just sort of hang out with friends at the park. Vlogging at the park sort of made it awkward, and I didn't have as much fun, so, yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about vlogging at the park, but it was okay. Um, on Monday... In the morning, I, maybe not in the morning, but maybe around, like, after class, so, like, after, like, 2.45-ish, I went to the library and to school to pick up the two pies, because they said they had come by that day and stuff, and they sent an email and stuff, and I had a mixed berry and apple pie, and I went there, and I picked it up, and it was super easy, and then I went home, and then, like, they were super good looking and stuff, and I realized that, like, the total value was around, like, $28 for the two pies, so, like, attending that, like, one, like, less than an hour sort of pie day meeting was totally worth it, because I get to have a bunch of pie that was, like, high quality for, like, barely any work, barely any work, even more worth it than, like, working a job and then, like, buying it yourself, because you don't normally make, like, $30 an hour, especially as, like, a young person. So, after I picked up the pies, I went to the library with my brother, and he was traumatized from a previous library experience where I sent him in alone, so I had to get him over that sort of fear. So, yeah, we went again, and then he didn't know what book he wanted, so I just, like, last second, like, searched up a book, went to find where that book was. I was looking for all the bright places, I think. The book just wasn't in the library at that moment. So then I like looked over on the shelves and I found this other one that like had the word Zen in it and I was like, this looks like it would be good enough for my brother. I checked it out, everything went smoothly. But at the checkout counter, like I tried to like hand my book like around the sort of glass enclosing thing because that's how the, the lady that had just finished checking out her book was giving her books like around the glass enclosing. And then I was looking dumb because it was like this little like square thing like right in front of the lady that I just didn't notice because I was so focused on what the previous customer had done. So then I checked it out and it was normal and everything and we left and everything. Okay, later in the day I finished all my Spanish work. So like like dual enrollment sort of community college class, I finished all my Spanish homework. So that was good. I watched the, I started to watch the Uncanny Encounter, which is a K-drama and like it's kind of like good so i'm continuing to watch it but i'm not like paying too much attention to it it's just a uh, there if i ever have any free time and i run out of like the more like up there k dramas that i'm watching right now like penthouse or vincenzo oh yeah and then i also watered my plant and like the pot sort of it didn't overflow but like it was the first time that the water started to leak out of the bottom of the pot and fill up the little tray that you put under the pot and to catch any like too much water that you put in there, so I was like, oh shoot, I watered it too much. On Tuesday, I had my medical assistant sort of training Zoom class, and during the class, the teacher's computer died at some point, so like, that was just out of the ordinary, and then she got on her phone, she like finished up with me, and then we continued on our way. So during the night, sometime around dinner, I explained what LOL meant to my dad, I sort of like told him how it was like a subtle sort of laugh, sort of like agreement sort of thingy. My sister and I, we sort of like roasted him on how formal he text messages us and even said that our mom was better at text messaging, even though she like can't really spell too well on her own, but she still does it faster in our opinion and stuff. 
like our dad's always using like the good morning and thank you even though he's like texting my sister I so like that's sort of like too formal for us oh yeah and then at night I was planning to like do like some songwriting with like one of my friends but then she never showed up or she was taking a really long time finishing up calculus homework and her dishes but then she took so long that I just decided to like I opened up a google doc and I started writing and I basically wrote like the whole entire song tried to like sa like sample the music tried to come up with like sort of melodies but didn't really find anything too special during that night and yeah just went to sleep after that on Wednesday I realized that I did one of my Spanish assignments wrong, so I had to redo the entire thing, and it was like kind of like it was. It made me feel kind of stressful because I was like, "Oh my god, I finished all this work," and it realized it turned out that I did it for the wrong thing, and I almost missed the meeting. Like I set up a, we were supposed to do a little meeting with a. Uh, one of my classmates for the Spanish class, and I almost missed it. It's a good thing I set an alarm for the exact time that it was happening, so I got there on time. Also on that day, I also practiced hip-hop dancing for the upcoming dance show on the week after that Wednesday. So yeah, I was practicing really hard, and I sort of like went through everything. I sort of like internalized it all, like muscle memoried it, tried to like improve where it could. On Thursday, I was gonna wake up early. I set an alarm for 6.30, and like most... Like most people, I'm sure you know what happened. I wake up at 6.30, I turn off the alarm, and then I close my eyes thinking, I do not want to wake up right now. I will set an alarm for a later time, and I just slip right back into sleep. And at 7.41, I wake up to my brother opening the door, and he's all like, dude, we have school. Or I have to bring him to school. And I was like, shoot, I forgot to set another alarm. So I just jumped up and brought him to school. I almost missed like the community college sort of preview day Zoom meeting while preparing the presentations, Google Slides and stuff for Key Club. On Thursday night, I baked three pies. Oh, cheesy cracker pie. Cheesy cracker pie, minced meat pie, and Grandma Snotty's pie. Yeah. The minced meat one tasted like the best, I'm pretty sure, based on what my family was saying. saying and Grandma Snotty's came in second, but then the cheese crackers came in like a dead last, and I didn't really even like the cheese crackers either. I thought that the sort of cheesy taste would be removed by sort of baking it and like mixing it with like a sweet thing, but it didn't work at all. On Friday, I had my AP French sort of Zoom class and I turned on my camera for the first time this semester. Oh, I had the slice of the pie that day and it was, it was kind of good tasting. Later in the day, my mom was all like, dude, your pie crust is undercooked. So she baked it again and like made sure it was extra cooked. But I didn't think it was undercooked, but like whatever she says. Friday, I got, I went on a call with my friends sort of after the key club meeting and we sort of like, I was walking outside and two of my other friends were walking outside and the other friend was just sort of sitting at home and stuff, but we were all talking together. And yeah, that was sort of nice. Like we don't usually like get into like, that's sort of just talking for the sake of talking sort of thing. Just conversation for no apparent reason. So I really like that. On Saturday, my friends and I, we all went to the park to play tennis. I just finished uh, playing at the playing at the park, hanging out with some friends for like maybe we were here. I was here since like 2.35 and then now it's like 6 o'clock right now. So now I'm going to be going home. And so yeah, basically we came, we stretched and then we played some tennis and then we did some charades. Oh, we also did jump rope before we like did anything. So we played like, like the... Ice cream soda pop chair on top. Who's your boyfriend? I forgot. Going through the alphabet, we did teddy bear turn around, and then we also did the the snake, and then we also did where you had to run into like a longer jump rope with multiple people and stuff. And then we also played red flags. I won one card in red flags. Spot flags are kind of scary, cause well, not always scary, but they're scary when they're green, and then all they all of a sudden turn yellow on you when you're close, and then you don't know whether you should speed up or slow down. And sometimes you might accidentally run a red light and you don't want that to happen because that's illegal. But then sometimes you want to like, like sometimes you could choose to turn right or go straight forward because like both ways will take you where your destination is. So you have to think, is the light going to favor me more if I turn here or will it turn green soon and I should just continue? That's a sort of thought process. Oh, I won in concentration. That was nice winning in concentration. Oh yeah, we played that when we were at the park. We just sat down at some moment. It started with me me going all like, hmm, I have a tummy ache. So I like squatted down and then everyone else squatted with me and then we started playing concentration just like naturally. And I just happened to win. I don't know. I just happened to give good enough answers to not be voted out. Jump rope was cool. I did like a double jump. It's like where you get like jump 
over the rope two times within one like humongous jump. So you jump once and then the rope goes under you twice. We talked about what everyone ate today. One of my friends had a poke bowl, another friend had rice with like Korean side dishes and like tonkatsu, and then another friend had like beef with lettuce and rice and sauce. It's like this sort of like wrapping sort of thing. One of my friends just had a banana. And one of my friends had hand pulled noodles. Her mom like made the made the dough for the noodles, but then she like hand pulled the noodles herself. So that's pretty interesting. I was searching like the word carefree like yesterday or two days ago just to find pictures of it because I was gonna like decorate something with like carefree sort of images like drawn with like a crayon and stuff. And then it just came up with a pad brand. So I was all like, that was kind of strange because like, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I was looking for more like freedom sort of things and all I got was pictures of pad brand. I also learned that females use different kinds of pads depending on the, how strong the flow is. Something new that I didn't know about, so it was good to know about because, you know, knowing about the female counterpart and stuff. Well, I'm home, so I start working on work.